Hey guys, I'm here at Table Rock in Pickens, South Carolina, and I just had a chance to give a thorough, in-depth review, or torture test almost, of the new 511 Apex pants. And uh, I don't normally do apparel reviews, I think it's a little too subjective and whatnot, but I figured I was going on a pretty massive hike, and these pants are labeled as do anything, both, you know, either as a BDU kind of pant, or a uh, EDC kind of pant, or whatever, so, we took them to the test and hiked up 13 miles of strenuous, strenuous hiking path. So let's start off by going down a list of some of the features of the pants, and then we'll go into how it actually fared during the hiking extravaganza, if you will. The Apex line of pants from 511 are supposed to be a do-anything sort of garment. They aren't massively oversized like BDU or tactical pants, but still have room for carry, unlike jeans or traditional khakis. I found that the Apex line of FlexTac material made the fit on these pants much more appropriate than straight nylon or cotton. The material feels like a reinforced, semi-elastic nylon. It has enough give that shoving a pistol into a inside the waistband holster won't make you miserable or pull your pants down, and at the same time is rigid enough to hold up to heavy revolvers being pocket carried. And really, this is where the pants truly excel, in sort of a all-day carry scenario. For instance, the Apex pants feature gusseted construction, which basically means they pad the areas where multiple seams come together. So this is especially important in areas like the groin and the knees, places where the seams could repeatedly rub up against that you really don't want them rubbing up against. Now, more than just being comfortable, they're also damn handy for pack rats like myself. I figure if I'm going to carry a gun, I want to carry enough ammunition to get me out of anything. So naturally, I like the fact that each of the cargo pockets includes a compartmentalized sub-pockets for stashing spare magazines. They're even big enough to conceal two full-sized MP5 mags inside the compartments in each pocket, with spare room in the major pocket for an additional three or four. Now one thing that I did notice about these pockets is that the compartments hold magazines very securely. So much so that I was able to actually run with the magazines in my pockets without busting up my knees. Anyone who's ever concealed carried and had a floating Glock mag in your pocket and taken the wrong step and had it whack you in the kneecap understands the importance of this. Now additionally, the rear pockets are advertised as twin back yoke magazine pockets. In regular English, that means that there's a small pocket inside of a larger one. I found in practice that instead of using this small packet for a magazine, I ended up using it more often for a smartphone, because it kept it both within easy reach by keeping it above the other pocket, as well as keeping it separate from all the spare mags in the regular pocket, or anything that would otherwise scratch the hell out of your phone, like a knife or some such. Another thing I like about the Apex pants is that they appear to be really, really durable. I've worn them now for a little over four months, and I've done a couple of hikes like this one, though none as extreme as this one, and I've never had any issues with durability or seams ripping or any kind of shoddy craftsmanship whatsoever. Now, this is probably because every seam on the pants is double stitched, with the other high stress seams being bar tacked or like double reinforced for even greater durability. Now lastly, I really like the seven oversized reinforced belt loops, because it keeps my tactical belt and thus my holstered pistol in the same spot. I don't like my pants to sag in any direction, especially when I've got a gun, magazines, whatever attached to it. But the thing I like the most about the pants is their Teflon coating. Though this might be a little too much for people in hotter environments. It does not let your legs breathe very well at all. And why do I like the Teflon so much? Well, I'm a huge slob. My family used to say that I could make a mess with a rock. So the fact that the pants are basically stain proof as well as water repellent is a godsend. For those of you out there that are less messy, the water repellent coating is great for keeping your legs dry when you have to venture out into the rain. Though keep in mind they're not waterproof, you can't go scuba diving in these and come out dry as a bone. Alright, it was completely exhausting and this is the day after and I feel like I just, you know, got dragged up the mountain by my dog, which in a lot of ways I did. But uh, the pants themselves held out very well. They may not be the most breathable thing in the world, but they're very comfortable, and I pocket carried the entire time, as well as had about 30 pounds of gear in a USMC backpack on my back the entire, entire trip. Now, what does it have to do with the pants? Well, the pants didn't bother me enough that I ever felt like I needed to readjust or 
do this, that, and the other. And for the most part, they stayed exactly where I wanted them and they kept the objects I had in my pocket because I was pretty loaded down exactly where I needed them. Overall, they're a very, very solid pair of pants that uh, are good for concealed carry, even bugging out, or hell, they'd be the greatest part of like a BDU. Uh, I think that, yeah, they're not the cheapest pair of pants in the world, but I think if you're going to buy something for quality and something for any sort of longevity, you can't expect it to be dirt cheap. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more burst reviews. Also, everyone, let's see if I can get in. All right. Everyone wish Jim a happy 33rd birthday. Woo!